Hi, welcome back to Night's Home Farms. Today we're working on the aviary style chicken run again. Um, we've done a little bit of work off camera, just kind of a, a piece here, a piece there. So let me take you around and show you what we've done so far. We've added these angled up braces here because the top of the run is actually gonna be at an angle here due to the height of the window. So we had to get it up over where the height, you know, the top of the window so that <clears throat> we had access to the whole window from underneath. Right now we are hammering over the excess that was at the top so that it's nice and flat. You can see some of it still sticking up there. We have the trim on the corners. Lance is working on the corner over here. <laughs> so when we put it up, we have, what is it, like 18 inches at the bottom on the ground. That'll go underneath the gravel. Comes up to the top of this board. The top piece of hardware cloth starts at the bottom of that board and goes up and then it has another 18 inches or so at the top. So we're folding it over and hammering it with a rubber mallet. In preparation of putting the actual top on. What we just finished was putting this cross beam and that cross beam in. We added the little side to side and then there's a hinged trap door here so that once this is all covered and this will be flat back here on the back side of the coop but once this is all covered then this hatch the hatch will drop down and hang flat there off of those hinges behind you so that you can get up there to tend to the solar panels if you need to so there's a lot going on today a lot <laughs> And because of that, we didn't get anything on camera that we were trying to get on camera because I was busy with emails and telephones and one thing and another. So let me turn this around and I'll show you what we've been working on. Right now he is adding this uh, two by four that's been split in half, so roughly two, two by two. And we're putting them where the hardware cloth stops so that we have an area to attach the edge of it and overlap you know the next piece onto it and then there'll there'll be more of those here and here so kind of a grid work We are still working on the chicken run enclosure, the aviary style chicken run. And we've worked on it off and on for, what, six days now? Nine years. Yeah, nine years. <laughs> but um, I haven't filmed the whole thing because it would be very boring, I think, to watch us do the same thing over and over and over and over. We're getting close to being done with it. So I wanted to show you the that process like finishing up this this row and then we have another little bitty skinny row that to go we are running like a single piece from the roll out here up and then all the way across to wherever it is that it ends um so we put a piece up like what he's doing right now and then wherever it ends we go back in and measure that distance from this board to that board and cut a two by two to fit in there and mount it on there. And once we've mounted the whole row, then we start pulling another run of the hardware cloth from the roll outside up and over all of these. 
And here, because of the angle, we took it and wrapped it around that board there and then screwed that board to the wall because there's no way he could get the nail or the stapler in to do it up across the top there. So it's wrapped around that one and screwed to the wall. And then we just finished this one. So we, we wrapped it around there, screwed that to the wall, and then he's been stapling this, this piece on top of that board all along. And he just finished the second section. But see, he has, his ladder is way over here, and he has to reach four feet over this way to staple. So we use a second ladder so that he can reach across and put his hand on that second ladder. Otherwise, he'd have some incredible abs. <laughs> like, I don't even think that's humanly possible to do it without the ladder. So anyway, I'm going to set this up and then put you on super speed so you can see us roll this out. And you can see we have, like, I don't know, two feet more to cover. So we have to go, we have to put two by twos in here on the end of this one, all along here. And then roll another one up and then it has to go all the way out to the outer side of this two by four. This little makeshift wall here. <laughs> well that was the hatch door but then we figured out that if he just adds more this is where the hatch was we figured out that if he just adds more um, structure to this that he can go up a ladder from the outside and crawl across this to access the solar that's up on the up on the <laughs> Ah, uh, Gwen just showed up. And I have the door open for the teenagers to come out. And I just I just closed this off because I didn't feel like they needed the whole run quite yet. But nobody's been brave enough to actually come out the door. I've got pictures of them sticking their head out, but that's about it. Okay, we are on the home stretch, like 28 inches wide, and then the length of the coop. It is 8.30 at night, 70 degrees, but it's still very humid. If there was a little breeze, it would feel amazing, but there isn't. <laughs>
Give you a peek inside. Let's see here. Now the tots are in the brooder section. <laughs> They've got their food and water, and grit, and they're under the heater. I had it turned off because it was a really hot day, so they were kind of huddled up. <laughs> Now it's back on. There's like 86 in here, so they're not cold. <laughs> Some of them still sleep on the floor, and then others get up on the roost. <sighs> They've got two waters. And a big beaver. Rose is looking really crazy lately. <sighs> Isn't that right, Rosie? Good night, girls. We'll see you tomorrow.